In this lesson, we're going to look at another example of Pythagoras problem solving. So let's look at the question. PQRS is a rhombus. Calculate the length of side PQ. And it also says round your answer to one decimal place. If you do not do this, you will lose a mark in uh, the marking scheme. So with Pythagoras, um, we're looking for right angle triangles. So if you're trying to work out PQ, you can see a wee right angle triangle here. Um, this portion here, if I was to colour that in just roughly, there's a right angle triangle in there. Okay, so the easiest way to work out PQ is to actually take that triangle out and draw it. Okay, so the things we need in the right angle triangle are we need two sides to then work out PQ. So I need to think if I can get this side in the bottom. So all the way across is 7 centimetres. And these wee two lines here means that that line and that line are the same length. So if you have 7, you'll get the bottom bit of this right angle triangle, and that's 3.5. And the same thing with this bit up and down the way. This diagonal of the, the rhombus is 16 centimetres. These two wee lines and these two wee lines mean these are exactly the same size. So if you have 16, you will get the height. So drawing the wee triangle out, you will get this idea here. And then we can just work out PQ doing a straightforward Pythagoras question. So PQ squared, or C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Then we can go into PQ squared equals 8 squared plus 3.5, or 3.5 squared plus 8 squared. It doesn't matter which way around you do it. PQ squared is equal to, put that into your calculator, and get this coming out, 64 and 12.25. Add them together to get 76.25. And then finally, to get PQ, which was the question, um, you square root 76.25, and you get 8.7. Now, I haven't done so here. What I would advise you to do is get your unrounded answer, and then write your rounded answer underneath.